Hello, Baden Believers! This week our artist is Wayne Tebow. I'm wearing a chef's hat because Tebow is famous for painting food, especially cakes and pies. We're going to explore different things about Tebow's work that make it unique. Along the way, we're going to look at different art ideas we can try at home. Form is one of the elements of art. A form is like a shape, but 3D. Shapes are flat. These are two flat circles. This is a flat circle. Forms are three-dimensional, like a sphere. A square is a flat shape. A cube is a form. Wayne Tebow uses form really well in his art. We can tell that these shapes are three-dimensional. These cakes are all very short cylinders. And how can we tell they're three-dimensional? Mostly through the beautiful shadows. If you look closely at the shadows in a Wayne Tebow painting, you will see that they are not black or gray. They are beautiful, bright colors. These cupcakes have blue, pink, orange, and green shadows. I will post a video on how to draw cupcakes, but you can also watch me do it here as well. After I drew my cupcakes and their icing, I decided where the sunlight would come from. Then I added shadows away from the sunlight. I kept adding shadows on that side of the cupcake using colors that have a darker value and using colors that have a lighter value to add highlights where the light is. I am adding some crazy colors to the shadows like purple and green and orange and pink. Do not be afraid to have fun with colors. Chalk pastels, oil pastels, and crayons are great for this. When you look at a Wayne Tebow painting close up, you can see that he used the paint just like icing. His work is full of beautiful texture. My favorite way to add texture is shaving cream paint. Some of you guys have made this in class with me. It is half shaving cream, half glue, and then food coloring or paint for color. Make sure you ask a grown-up before you use shaving cream. Then I'm going to draw three quick ice cream cones, but you could draw cupcakes or donuts, whatever you want to add icing to. Then I add my ice cream with my goopy shaving cream paint. I'm using my brush to add texture and to make it look like it's melting a little bit. I cut up some paper to add as sprinkles. The most important thing about shaving cream paint is that you put it somewhere safe to dry. It stays drippy for a long time, so it needs to lie flat overnight and maybe even longer. This is my puffy paint the next day. Don't squish too hard or you will leave a mark. Wayne Tebow paints beautiful, colorful, sunny landscapes inspired by San Francisco. These hills remind me of Pittsburgh. At first, these landscapes can look realistic, but when you look closely, the perspective is crazy. Many of his landscapes make you feel like you're looking out of an airplane at beautiful, colorful fields. With a grown-up's help, you can use Google Maps to look at different locations from above. This is Baden Academy. I'm going to draw a landscape viewed from above inspired by Baden Academy and inspired by Tebow's paintings of fields. First, I'm drawing my main landmarks and shapes. Then I'm filling them in with patterns. They don't have to look just like real life. What I'm trying to do is make a beautiful collection of patterns and colors. I drew with crayons and now I'm adding some washable marker. A fun trick to do with washable marker is to draw and then paint over it with water. This wakes up the marker and turns it into watercolors. Holly suggested another fun way to do this, which is to draw swatches of color onto tin foil and then paint those with water to create a watercolor palette. After I filled my whole drawing with color, I used a crayon to add tiny details like cars and more trees. Wayne Tebow painted beautiful pictures of gumball machines and he drew beautiful pictures of marbles using colored pencils. I decided to draw a marble vending machine but it turned out that while I was drawing, my phone was not filming. So I'm going to link to a really great video on how to draw a gumball machine. In the how-to video, the person will show you how to make gumballs by dipping a glue stick cap into paint and then printing onto your paper. For my marbles, I just traced around a cap using a Sharpie and then I colored them with crayons. Wayne Tebow loved painting collections, whether it was flowers, lipstick, shoes, bow ties, or oil pastels. If you have a collection, you can gather it together and draw or paint the whole thing. 
Bears are my favorite animal, so I gathered up some of my bears and drew each one of them with a marker. I decided to make a 3D slice of cake using cardboard and paper mache. First, I had to figure out what shapes I needed to make a 3D form of a piece of cake. You can use a ruler for this, I just experimented. Then I taped my pieces of cardboard together. Just like with the puppet, I had some trouble with this. I eventually decided that blue painter's tape worked better. I also put a little bit of paper inside my form to keep it 3D. For my paper mache mixture, I'm using half white glue, half water. You can also make paper mache out of flour and water. You can ask a grown up about that. Then I paper mache my slice of cake using recycled papers. I painted my cake white and then mixed up pink paint for the icing. I used a lot of pink in this video. I think that's because I really like pink foods, but you can make your icing whatever color you would like. You can also decorate it however you'd like. I made mine a very simple two layer cake, but you could add more layers. You could add sprinkles, you could add puffy paint, you could add cherry on top, whatever you'd like to add. I think this would be a fun birthday gift. If you want to avoid paper mache or building with cardboard, a shoebox or other small cardboard box can also make a great cake to decorate. Thank you for watching this video with me and learning more about Wayne Tebow. Wayne Tebow is one of my favorite artists and he is still alive and painting at 99 years old. I am so excited to see where your inspiration will take you. 